Okay, hi guys. Uh, it's been a while since my video, last video, but uh, they were going to do a uh, chlorine generator, the Hayward. Hayward Aquarite salt chlorine generator. I had one that uh, went bad a while ago. Uh, I bought a replacement uh, Extreme Power from Extreme Power. Um, do not recommend those guys for anything. Uh, it lasted for two months and then I had to send it back. Um, I did get the warranty which helped me pay for this. Uh, so hopefully this one will last longer. But we're going to go ahead and wire this up. Uh, basically what I needed was a 14 gauge uh, two wire uh, Romex. Uh, you can see it's black, white and ground wire right there. A 14 gauge. And then I got the, uh, the conduit right here. All this from Home Depot. It's a half inch, uh, six foot long, which is all I need. I probably won't need that much, but we'll see. Uh, and it already comes with all, comes with the adapters. And I already, I already fed it through. I already fed the wire in there, and I put the adapter on the one in there. Now this is going to go into the power box, and this one's actually the other one, the curved one, is actually going to go into the Aquarite box, which we're going to do here in a minute. Now we're setting this up for 240, so um, we don't have to do anything on the inside here. Um, I did actually already knock out the side hole there to knock out, so I put the wire through there. And then here, as you can see, it already has uh, a jumper in here. There's actually two of them in there. In case you wanted to do 120, uh, you would have a jumper on one and two, and three, and then another one on three and four. Since we're doing 240, we can leave this one right where it's at. And we'll just wire it up like that. Can you see that? There we go. The jumpers on there. Uh, the jumper is on two and three, so it's set up for 240 already. Got it nice and neat, it already fits. That's the best part about having this come all together like that. Awesome. Um, I forgot my wire strippers. So it looks like that. I get it through there. wire there, looks good. Now, I know how those need to be. I can cut these off. Okay. Use this 
sister. wire nut is a eight millimeter. It doesn't matter. Red, uh, you put black on top or white on the bottom. It, it doesn't matter. I don't, with, it, either way is fine. Just like that. All right. And the green wire, obviously, the green plug there is obviously the copper for the ground. All right. And then the side looks like this. Good. All right. That's it for now. I'll be back in a minute. Brown wire is there, right there. The other wires go up. White wire goes to this side. Black wire goes to this side. Now let's see. If I turn it on. Turn this switch to on. I'm going to turn this to auto. Now, go here. So that's it for the wiring, and I'll, uh, oh, let me button this up real quick. That's it, covered back on. 
everything works the way it's supposed to. I can turn this back off now. I'll make sure this is off. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do... Oops, sorry about that. We're going to do... We're going to put the cell in today, you know. This is my cell. And uh, I got lucky. Uh, the one that I... That I'm replacing actually the cell fits in this so I don't have to do any more cutting uh, well, I have to do a little bit because the cell that I had the flow switch was built in and this one the flow switch is separate right here this is the side that the water goes into you can tell by the arrows the water has to go to the right So it goes in here, flips the switch, and makes the connection. Right, so this has to go in this way. And I have to cut just a little bit out. Okay, so I actually have a cutting tool so I can do this pretty easily. I need to cut a little bit off there. And I'm going to cut it like right here. So that I have enough to go on that other piece. So cut this right here. Right. Okay. All right, I'm back. Wire ties to fix that up later. 
that plugs in down here, underneath here. This is for the flow switch, right there. Okay, don't plug this, don't plug your cell in yet. You need to test this to make sure. Right, be right back. 2800 is good, it's a little low. Uh, just FYI, when you first turn it on, it's going to say no flow. That light will be flashing. That's only because it's, it's a, there's a time delay there. So once it establishes flow and after the time delay expires, then it'll the light will go out. Okay, so now, I already know my T-cell is set, so let's just take a look though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there, T-15. Now if you want to change it, you go here, up, down, T3, up, T5, T9, T15. And you can set that back to auto. I'm actually going to turn it off. And then one more time you turn it off. Now I can plug it in. In. Uh, by the way, this is just temporary. Uh, so now that that's there, I can actually turn it on. We got our power and generator light. It's, I'm going to set it to 60. That's where my other one was always set. So we should be okay there. So we got. Both those lights, super chlorinate, super chlorinate light comes on. I'm going to put it back to auto. 